to today's news. The news updates. Tinobu's inauguration. U.S. lawyer moves to block government delegation. Writes Biden on eight reasons why U.S. should not attend. You're welcome to the news once again. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, please listen to the end. The International Human Rights Lawyer, Emmanuel Ogebi, has written to the US President in a last death effort to stop the US government delegation from attending the Monday, May 29 inauguration of Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu as Nigerian's new president. In the letter dated 26 May 2023, Ogebe of the Washington-based U.S. Nigeria Law Group highlighted U.S.-Nigeria policy contradictions in light of the misguided White House inauguration delegation and gave eight reasons why the nine-member delegation led by U.S. Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Marcia Fuge, should not proceed to Nigeria for Tinubu's inauguration. The letter reads unedited. Dear President Joe Biden, as a top U.S. Nigeria affairs expert, I write to express grave concern and great displeasure at your planned delegation to the inauguration of a fraudulent elect in Nigeria. To say that your action is hypocritical and antithetical to, to Americans' democratic ideals is an understatement. Firstly, as your administration is persecuting hundreds of insurrectionists who try to overturn your election win, Nigeria also reports arresting over 700 individuals for election offenses. How then can you accord legitimacy to multi-state election criminality in Nigeria that exceeded even the January 6th levels? Secondly, the BBC has exposed a fake election collator who announced fake election results in river states, firstly granting the ruling party victory over the Labour Party. A collector in Nigeria is similar to an elector in America. Yet, while your administration is investigating for prosecution, prosecuting fake electors who attempted to subvert your election, you are celebrating the candidates rigged in by the fake collector. According to the CNN, the New York Times said some potential criminals could include falsifying voting documents, mail fraud, or potentially a conspiracy to defraud the United States. Attorney General from the seven states with fake electors have said that they are aware of the reports and reviewing the matter under state law. Thirdly, Nigerians' 2023 election violence was deadlier than General Barari's military coup 40 years ago, than the 2019 elections, and even than the January 6 insurrection, making a mockery of your descriptor of him as a champion of democracy. Fourthly, your government announced sanctions on unnamed officials for undermining democracy in Nigerians' elections, then immediately announced a high-level delegation to the inauguration of this 
vote Riga. Sadly, this is not just about Americans' obsequious Chinese Africa checkers posturing. Why is your administration again engaging in cognitive dissonance by denouncing the rigging and embracing the Riga? Fifthly, the Nigerian presidential election not only did not meet global or local standards, it palpably did not meet constitutional thresholds. Sixthly, the US more than any other country knows that there is not just a problem with the process, but a problem with the person thrown up by the fraudulent election. Seventhly, your delegation is to go into Nigeria days after the first non-deadly U.S. embassy convoy ambush following years of U.S. cover-up of attacks on American diplomats and citizens like special agents in charge, Jennifer Dent among others. Then lastly, Italy is your administration's plan to return tens of millions of dollars looted by the Nigerian dictator General Abacha, who abducted, tortured, imprisoned, and ultimately exiled me to America as a young lawyer 25 years ago, back to his backman, and used over $150 million left over to fight climate change in Nigeria. So, this U.S. law has told the U.S. president that sending delegates to Nigeria is useless because they are trying to support a fraudulent elect person. That's why Biden, when he was in, voted in as the president, those people who actually worked against him and had electoral issues, he worked against them and he arrested them. So is he the one that is supposed to be in, or go to the, the or, pardon? Is he the one that is supposed to now make Nigeria democracy for? Why is he having ants in this? The foregoing are just a few examples of the yarny chasm between the American ideals and Nigerians' aspirations in your policy orientation or lack thereof. So. Joe Biden, you have a chance not to be on the wrong side of history. You should not vote against the hopes of the Nigerian-American community, who are a key component of Americans' black demography. Or millions of Nigerian youths whose neck are under the expatriated knees of Nigerian kleptomaniacal gerontrocasts. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take to this? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.